Hi everyone, this is Dee with Divine Needle, and I'm doing a new format for everybody. So, we're doing air signs today. Yay! Hope you enjoy the new format. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so, do like, share, and subscribe. It really helps our channel um, in ways that you can't even fathom. Um, even, you know, the donations. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, it helps Nell and I continue our mission to help you all. So when you help us, you're helping everyone else too at the same time. So it's kind of a trickle-down effect, which is brilliant, right? So it helps us continue our mission. Anyway, <clears throat> you have fascinating energy. The first time we're going to do today for this stream is Aquarius. So, Aquarius, <laughs> you got fantastic energy going on, Aquarius. The creator and the strongest energy coming towards you is the apocalypse. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Aquarius can handle it. If anybody can, it would be an aqua, right? <laughs> anyway, your energy as the creator. Uh, that's ama amazing energy. That's very much magician kind of energy. That's, uh, yeah, manifestation at its finest, right? <laughs> kind of alchemist energy, right? Using all the tools in your toolbox, air, earth, water, fire. You are manifesting your life. <laughs> uh, it's like you're an artist painting a canvas with all your aspirations to follow, right? <laughs> That's fantastic. You're you're feeling curious, playful, open, and you're surprising and shocking others. You're an innovator. You are a creator. <laughs> you're holding divinity in you. Mm -hmm. Aquarius, you're doing gangbusters. I'm an aqua myself, so I'm very excited about us getting that card. <laughs> yeah. So, Strongest energy coming towards you the first half of August because these are bi monthly readings right now. I might go to weekly, just FYI for everybody, but for right now it's bi monthly. But if I manage some time, I'm going to try to do these weekly. We'll see. Anyway, um, this is someone that's trapped in an energy of hopelessness. Um, it's kind of, um, oh, they're in the process of removing the veil of deception. Um, the word apocalypse itself is um, truth coming to light. Um, so they're, they're pulling the veil off or they're trying to lift the veil. Um, but they ha they're feeling very kind of nihilistic um, and hopelessness. Um, I just, I don't know, the energy, it's somebody that's going through a serious dark night of the soul. This is, you know, you spend enough time down there and the and truths about yourself and other things will come to you. It's not a fun place to be. But that's the strongest energy coming towards Aquarius. Stay in this magician energy. <laughs> You're going to need it, I have a feeling. Um, yeah. Somebody that's in serious grief and despair. Dark night of the soul. And they need your light. <laughs> they do need your light. Okay, Aquarius. First half of August. Let's see your energy. Okay. 
Got the world card. Yep, the world at your feet. Aqua. <laughs> Manifesting. Wow. Okay. Aquarius. What else did we get? You. <laughs> there you go. High Priestess. <laughs> what else for Aquarius? <laughs> Anything else on Aquarius? No, we're not taking books. We just need one more on Aquarius. <laughs> oh, they forced forced me to take two. Yeah. You're also embodying the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords energy. Fantastic. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's look at the energy. The strong energy coming towards you. <laughs> First half of August. Oh, wow. That was fast. Okay. Oh. Trying to maintain balance. Okay, what else? What else about our person that's in such despair? What's going on? Okay, that one wanted to go. What is it? I'm on a new beginning. What else is going on with this person? First half of August. This apocalypse that's coming towards Aquarius. <laughs> I still want to hear that, do ya? Oh, that was crazy. I was trying to pull the deck up and this one card came flying out. Yep, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. Oh, yeah. Banging stuff around here. All right. Let's get it together. <laughs> yeah, I think seeing an apocalypse coming towards us <laughs> It's got me a bit ruffled. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, well, it happens. We're good for it, though. We, we got this. All right, underlying energy, the Empress. This is abundant, creative energy. Um, and that's the underlying energy. Wow. Birthing a new creative project, possibly, with your apocalypse? That's a fascinating thought. <laughs> All right. So Aquarius, here's your energy. Manifestation at its finest. The world card, serious completion energy. You're sitting in your intuition. This is the compliment, you know, this is magician energy. This is the complimenting card, the high priestess. Um, they're a pair. Um, you embody that energy totally. You are on point when it comes to the spiritual realm. <laughs> you, yeah, you are. All right, and you're embodying the energy of a couple of kings too. The earthly spiritual realm king, the businessman. You're embodying that energy, and you're also the pragmatic scientist, the intellectual king. Um, they hold that sword of truth and clarity, sword of destiny. Wow. Wow, Aqua, your energy is off the chain. <laughs> Way to go. That's uh, exciting. <clears throat> now, the energy of this apocalypse coming towards you. <laughs> Ellipsis, right? <laughs> oh, you gotta feel for them. They're they're going through a dark night of the soul, and I have a feeling your King of Swords energy and your down to earth spiritual material King and intuition and everything um, ending ending a cycle, um, or the World card could mean. The world is your feet, possibly, but this person's trying to maintain balance. They're juggling um, real desperate energy. Um, they're wanting a new passionate beginning. Um, but unfortunately, this person is looking at these three spilled cups on the ground. They, they don't see the cups sitting right behind them, right there, because if they just Grab those two cups and go across the bridge here. There's a kingdom waiting. But they're so wrapped in despair and... Ugh. 
Okay, Aquas, you got a task at hand. Your mission is likely to help pull this one out of this energy. That can be a hard task to do, but Aquas, uh, you got it going on. You can manifest whatever you want, including manifest them right out of this. So, <clears throat> if anybody can handle a person with that kind of energy, it would be an Aqua. That's, that's for sure. Anyway, okay, let's look at the energy between you and your puck. Oops. <clears throat> First half of August, the energy... Wow, okay. <laughs> Those all wanted to be seen. Underlying energy. Ace of Pentacles, a new earthly beginning. Hmm. Earthly spiritual, right? Queen of Swords definitely wanted to show herself. Yup. <laughs> cutting, the, the both of you are cutting out what no longer serves you. Um, that's a shared energy. Um, the Sword of Destiny, Truth and Clarity, that's what she wields. She's an intellectual queen. She rules with her head. And she is the queen of no BS. She will cut you with that sword. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So you're both sharing that energy. That's good. That's good. What else are you sharing? Oh. This is head over heart decisions or um, a blind decision. Um, maybe both of you feel that way. What's fascinating is you two are presenting with the Six of Cups. This is somebody you've known either from your childhood um, or it could just be the two of you reminiscing about things. Um, this could be a child in your life um, that you're dealing with that's going through this dark night um, or somebody from a past life. Fascinating. Very fascinating. You're both mo moving forward with a couple love for each other, um, which is good. Yeah, you are. You're moving forward and offering each other a cup. This is learning about how to love somebody else even when they're going through this hmm. so you're definitely approaching this person and they are you with love which is good but you're also in truth and clarity but this is this is a blind um kind of like blind ambition um you you don't know what to expect from this but you definitely um, are trying to help this person. There's a new beginning between the two of you. Um, this is, you know, super abundant creative energy. See, here we go with the Knight of Cups again, right? All right. Fascinating. Aquas. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's get some advice for Aqua with their apocalypsis. First half of August. I can't believe it's August already. What the heck? What the heck is going on? I'm gonna take Kronos and throw him in the trash can for a while and make him sit there. <laughs> Time's going by entirely too fast. Yes, time is an illusion. Down here on the holodeck, in the bio suit, it feels pretty real to me. <laughs> Betting it is for you guys flying by. Okay. We need advice for Aqua dealing with their person going through the dark night of the soul. Words of advice for Aqua. You guys are in true high form. You can't get any higher than that. You guys can handle your apocalypse. <clears throat> Words of advice for Aqua. Words of advice for Aqua. Words of advice for the Aquas. They could use it. Maybe they don't need it. <laughs> Who knows? The minute I say that, cards pop out. 
Page of Pentacles. Learning. Underlying energy. Learning about your spiritual material realm. Advice for Aqua. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> they wanted more than one card. You got four. <clears throat> it appears you do need some advice dealing with your dark night of the soul. Um, this is a messenger card. This is uh, someone uh, learning uh, truth and clarity. So you're you need to learn um, the the truth about your person here. This person going through the dark night of the soul. Um, you you need to send your ships out. Send your ships out and wait for a return with this person. Um, you need to be prepared. This person may give you a hard time. Uh, but don't let that dissuade you. You're carrying so much energy here. There's no way that they could drag you down. I mean, you got to be careful. Some of these people will energy vampire the heck out of you. <laughs> So, regulate time spent if you have to, to accomplish the goal here of pulling them out of this. Um, this, you know, the advice is don't let them drag you into a battle. Okay? And your other advice. Childlike energy. Playful fun. Um, be the shining light that you are. Bring them some enlightenment. They need it. They need the sun shining on this dark place. They really do. So, Aqua, <clears throat> that's your reading. <laughs> on It looks looks good. Hang in there. It's going to possibly be a little rocky-ish, but it looks like um, you can do it if anybody can. Okay? Anyway, so we're going to go on to the next sign, which will be the next air sign of Gemini. I'll get the cards ready. Okay, Gemini. You're presenting with the energy of the Pilgrim, and the strongest energy coming toward you is the river. Hmm. Fascinating, Gemini. <sighs> Very colorful cards. <laughs> Both of these. Are you... Is the strongest person coming towards you very colorful? You seem to be. Interesting. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of a fool card. Off on an adventure kind of card. <laughs> the Pilgrim, right? The Pilgrims going across the, the U.S. back in the day. Yeah, they were adventurers. They had to be, right? This is the Wanderer, the Traveler, the Apprentice. Somebody that's learning, growing, adapting, right? studying. They're looking for expansion and growth and adventure. Likely some travel coming soon? Hmm. Interesting, Gemini. <laughs> the river. Okay, this is the strongest energy in your field the first half of August. This is someone that has earned acceptance, grace, they're very reflective, and they hold lots of forgiveness. Um, they um, have a gentle lightness, grace, and fluidity. <clears throat> um, they're full of deep emotion and full of potential. They have nothing to hide, and they don't judge. <sighs> You might be drinking from this river. <laughs> Who knows, right? Okay, let's take a look at your energy. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. <laughs> First half of August. Gemini's okay. That's right out there. <laughs> what we get? Ooh, feeling victory, Gemini. That's good. You're wanting to be seen and feeling victorious. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll take the uprights. Oh, 
very nice, very nice Gemini. Check it out. Why are we not focusing? Focus, Kimosabe. <laughs> there we go. Gem. Brilliant air signs. Lots of manifestation going on with the air signs. Putting these cards back. Bottom of the deck. You're carrying the King of Swords energy. Very nice. Well, no. Not nice, because we still have to pull the rivers energy. <laughs> Sorry, got a little ahead of myself. All right, the river coming towards Gemini, first half of August. First half of August for Jim. This river, what is their energy like? We want to know about this river. It's good energy to have coming towards you, that's for sure. Look at Aquarius's reading. <laughs> So you got a river coming towards you, which is much better. Or is it? <laughs> Some of you might not agree. I don't know. Let's see what happens here with this river. Okay, there's one. One. Ooh. Okay, they're carrying some wounded warrior energy. What else is going on with this river? What's going on with this river? Coming towards Gemini. Or are you going towards them? You're in pilgrim mode. So are you going towards the river? Are you going to be drinking from that river? Let's see. <laughs> okay, got another one. That one came out weird. It is Dave's energy. Okay. And what else? Is, no, we're not doing books. We're not doing books, guys. No. We just want one more card, maybe two at the most, for the river. Evidently, the river needs a lot of explanation. <laughs> but we'll see if we can get them to cut it down a bit. Energy of the river, first half of August. Coming towards Gemini. Okay, do you see that? <laughs> okay, they're forcing me. Okay, this person has Ten of Cups energy. Page of Staves, Energy, Hangman, Energy. Fascinating. Now we can look at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, the both of you share this energy. Wildly independent and successful energy. Yeah, okay. That's the two of you share that energy. All right, Gemini, you little pilgrim. <laughs> All right, what was that John Wayne saying about Something Pilgrim? Um, I was gonna... <laughs> I was gonna do... I'm not doing it. <clears throat> I was gonna try to mimic him. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, if you ever watch John Wayne films... Um, well, howdy, Pilgrim. <laughs> there you go. I did it. Yeah. I know. Don't hate me. <laughs> Here we go, Gemini. You're feeling very seen and victorious at the moment. You're juggling a lot, but maintaining balance. Um, you've sent your ships out. Um, this could be a travel card. You got Pilgrim. <laughs> a distance. Some distance. Um, you're putting your ships out, waiting for them to come back in, right? <clears throat> and you're manifesting like uh, the Aquariuses are. <laughs> Not as big, but you're manifesting. Um, you're getting ready to go on a journey and feeling very seen victorious, maintaining balance with it. And yeah, wow. Some travel somehow. Uh, very likely for Gemini. And um, manifesting what you want. You're manifesting your desires with all your little tools in the toolbox. Fantastic. <laughs> the river. Strongest energy coming towards you or you towards it? Because <laughs> it looks like you towards it, possibly. All right. This person carries the energy of a wounded warrior. This is somebody who's been through a lot of battles, but they're strong they, they've been through those battles, but they still have 
fight in them. They still have a stave in their hand, ready to do battle. They're a strong person because of that. They carry very fast moving energy. Um, the Eight of Staves, um, this is very passionate, fast energy. Um, messages coming in or out um, could be, but they just inherit, embody this energy. They're, they're moving fast and they don't show any signs of slowing down. They are a river. <laughs> They also embody the energy of Ten of Vessels. This is someone that's very happy um, in their emotional realm. They are steady, um, balanced, and it could be somebody that's married. Mm -hmm. That already has their life partner. They also carry the energy of the Page of Staves that's learning about what they're passionate about. This is also the strategist. Um, this is someone who is very strategic in what they do. They also are extremely enlightened. This is someone that sees things from a higher, wider perspective about the earthly plane and everything on it. Not only that, but spiritual plane. So this river is, yeah. This is amazing energy. The river has amazing energy, for sure. All right, let's look at the energy between you and your river. For the first half of August, the energy between Gemini and the river, first half of August. Looks like Gemini is gonna be tripping. Are you tripping, Gemini? Hmm. Well, we have, come on, energy between Gemini and the river, first half of August. <clears throat> hmm. Energy between Gemini and the river. Oh, okay, they just wanted to stack them just so, evidently. All right. You both carry the energy of the Queen of Swords. And Sword of Destiny, right? Truth and Clarity. New beginning in Truth and Clarity. And you both carry Queen of Swords, the Queen of No Bullshit. <laughs> she has that Sword of Destiny, and she will wield it. <laughs> oh, Gemini, your river's probably an air sign, too. <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> All right, this is the combined energy between the two of you. <laughs> This is fantastic, Gemini. <laughs> you guys are both super happy and have super wish fulfillment between the two of you. Two peas in a pod, perhaps. <laughs> you both have a passionate new beginning between the two of you. You're both creative and abundant. You hold the Empress energy. That's somebody that's super creative and full of life and vitality. You know the birthing create creative energy and you're both highly enlightened um, in the spiritual and material areas um, super balanced too can't hang like that without having some balance yeah super super intellectual wow that's the energy between the two of you <laughs> You guys, wow. Aquarius and Gemini is rocking it. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see. I don't think you need advice, but we'll get some cards just for fun. Advice for Gemini on the river. <laughs> Doesn't look like you need advice, you guys. Got it going on. Advice for Gemini. <laughs> I bet Gemini's thinking, I do too need advice. Give me the advice, damn it. <laughs> Oh, here it comes, Gemini. Let's see what they got for you. Advice for Gemini. First half of August. Advice for Gemini. First half of August. Gemini. You guys hold him back. 
took a minute, hot minute for these cars to come out too. It's like, what's going on here? Come on, Gemini. Advice for Gemini? Maybe you just don't need advice. Oh, well, there. As soon as I say that, right? All right. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, the shadow side. Destination unknown. <laughs> Interesting. But your advice is the Queen of Wands. This is a passionate, passionate queen. She's, um, yeah. So your advice is to keep your passion. Keep embodying that energy. This is the kind of, you know, the king is the kind that has your back. The queen is too. Um, yeah, just continue with that energy, Gemini. Um, you didn't really need advice, obviously. Or they wouldn't have given you this card. <laughs> but, wow, Gemini. Looks like you got some travel in your future. Hmm. Fascinating. You are manifesting. Way to go. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to get the very last of the air signs ready. Getting the cards ready for Libra. Okay, Libra. We got your cards out. <clears throat> it's interesting. You should check the look at the Gemini reading I just did. Because they had the river. So, Gemini should definitely look at the Libra reading because they had the river here. Mm-hmm. So... Here we go. Libra, you're presenting as the river. This is someone that's full of grace, um, reflection, forgiveness. Um, they're full of deep emotion and full of potential. They have nothing to hide and they don't judge. And that's the energy you're carrying. Fantastic energy. And then the strongest energy coming towards you is the womb. And that's for the first part of August. Um, this is someone who is full of harmony, warmth, love, and nour nourishment for you. Um, uh, it's a very feminine energy, um, but it could be, you know, it could be a masculine that's, that's bringing forward his more feminine side. But, um, you know, just warmth and tenderness, um, and sacred intelligence, right? Fascinating. Okay, Libra. Let's look at your energy in there. There's a little bit more. Very, looks like a good reading so far. Yes. Yes, 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 Libra. Energy for Libra, first half of August. Energy for Libra, the river, first half of August. Libra, first half of, wow, the cards are getting squirrely. Okay. <clears throat> nice pentacles. Focus. There we go. <clears throat> Energy for Libra, first half of August. Energy. Energy for Libra. Energy for Libras. Wow, you're as bad as Gemini. You guys, cards just don't want to talk. <laughs> Come on. Inquiring minds want to know. Spit them out. <clears throat> Libra, are you holding them back? Hmm. <clears throat> Boy, you're in Gemini. Oh. That one felt like it wanted to go. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. One more card on Libra's energy. Boy, I'm just going to have to fight you and wrestle you to get <laughs> Libra. Hello, air sign. Oh. Okay, Libra. Several people have been carrying that energy. Some of the other readings that I did for the first half are carrying tower energy. <laughs> Okie dokie, Libra. Whoop. 
banging around the camera. <clears throat> energy on this womb coming towards Libra, the first half of August. Energy on the womb coming towards Libra, first half of August. Energy, okay, on the womb. Okay. Energy on this womb coming towards Libra. First half of August. Okay, that one wanted to go. Okay. Energy on the one. Okay, and that one. <laughs> Weird how those came out. Oh, okay. You guys dreaming together? Are you daydreaming about each other? Hmm. Interesting. Underlying. All right, Libra, your energy. You carry the energy of the Ace of Pentacles. This is new beginnings in your earthly spiritual realm. You're walking that path. You're feeling very happy and fulfilled in the emotional realm. But you're also carrying the energy of a tower. Um, bringing down the house. <laughs> Fascinating. That's the words that came to me. Telepathy. Bringing down the house. Libra. What are you up to? Destroy you're in destroying energy. You're in the um Dancicali type energy. Um you know, you destroy things to build them back, right? Fascinating, Libra. You got really interesting energy. Wow. Presenting as the river, and yeah, wow. Okay. Let's look at your womb. What is their energy? They are standing in their power. Um, this is someone that uh, stands up for what they believe in. Um, this is someone that. It's carrying a heavy load. Carrying a heavy load. Ten of staves. But they're also presenting with the king of pentacles energy. This is uh, the businessman of the kings. This is um, spiritual material abundance. He's a wise ruler. He, um, he is the businessman of the, of the deck for sure. Out of those kings. So, could be a male or female, this person. Okay. Now we're going to look at the energy between Libra and their womb for first half of August. Between Libra and their womb, first half of August. What's the energy between these two? Keep in mind, the this is the strongest energy that's moving towards you. Could be anybody. Doesn't have to be a love thing. Just saying. Just the very strongest energy moving towards Libra. For the first half of August. A book? A book? Hmm. Underlying. A bit of a scuffle? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Libra. You towered them, didn't you, Libra? That's why they're ten of wands and hmm. So the energy between you guys. This is very burdened energy between the two of you. But that's an ending to this burden with the two of you. And the two of you are gonna be celebrating together and maintaining balance with each other. And love and compassion, the strength card. She tames the beast with love and compassion. So you guys are taming each other. <laughs> okay. So there was a little scufflish between the two of you. You towered them. Yeah. Underlying energy. Five of Wands. There was a little scuffle with you two. Mm-hmm. 
and you towered them, and they felt burdened, but so did you. You both did, but there's a celebration to be had and some violence in this, and love and compassion, strength, overcoming it, right? That's really good. You guys are pulling through that energy. Very nice. Hmm. All right, let's look at some advice for Libra. It could use some, it looks like. Advice for Libra. Well, let's see. I didn't look at the underlying. Daydreaming. Illusions. Hmm. Maybe too many choices got involved. The Temperance card's right under there, too. Hmm. Could be. Too many... Too many options open and it created some issue? Hmm. Okay. Advice for Libra dealing with their womb, first half of August. Advice for Libra dealing with their womb, first half of August. Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. Oh, a book? For reals? <laughs> All right. They told me take it. I'm taking it. All right. Underline, feeling left out in the cold, ah. all right, <sighs> yeah, the womb, this is very womb energy here, all right, <clears throat> let's take a look at these, all right, so we have, all right, <laughs> your advice, your advice, the lovers. This could be a significant other of some sort. It doesn't have to be um, your other other, but somebody important. Your advice. Big decision about your emotional well-being. Um, the sword of destiny. This is the sword of truth and clarity. Healing and wish fulfillment. Hope and faith. Using your intuition. And getting out of your head. Okay, so. All right. The high priest. Mmm, okay. That's faith. All right. So they're telling you that this person is significant to you. Um, they are your holy grail. Um, your, they are, you, you need to come from this energy of Ace of Cups. Um, a new beginning with them. State, you know, state your truth and your clarity. Um, their other advice is to get some healing from this issue. Um, embody the energy of the star card. Um, you are a star, Libra. Um, you shine really bright. And um, healing, major healing from this. Um, this has evidently taught you to both some karmic lessons and having faith in, in them. You need to have faith and get out of your heads, Libra. You're as bad as Aquarius <laughs> and Gemini. We're always in our heads, right? Aquarius particularly, they're very heady. Um, but quit having anxiety over this, okay? Have faith. There is healing and wish fulfillment in this relationship. A, a brand new beginning and truth and clarity and love, right? For this pair. That's your advice. Hmm. You know, this can also be about decisions. So maybe you need to make a decision about your new beginning. Okay? All right, Libra. Interesting reading. 
Well, I hope this helped everybody for the first half of August. Do like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for the donations. Um, everything you do, when you guys even so much as like our videos, it helps us with our mission of helping you. And when you do that, in turn, you're helping everybody else. So definitely the trickle-down effect. Um, <coughs> we do appreciate it. We really do, beyond all words. And uh, we really enjoy um, the interactions we have with you all. Uh, Nell does the live streams and um, that helps support him giving those free readings too and um, we can't do it without you guys we need your help just as much as you need ours so to keep this on uh, this ball rolling <laughs> anyway I hope you like the new format and um, yeah I love you beyond all comprehension and all reason so have a very fantastic first half of August air signs. Take care.